Brothers and sisters, Surah Al Ahzab, Surah number 33 of the Quran. You and I know that in Islam, we cannot just do what we want in terms of dress. We have to dress in a specific way. We have to follow rules and regulations. We have a uniform. Although that uniform is very broad, and although the, the rules and regulations governing the dress, they are actually quite broad and they are quite easy to fulfill. But there are rules. We cannot just do as we wish because we call ourselves Muslimin. And if we do as we wish, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that you will have to pay for the choice you've made. You know, people today say, I'm free to do whatever I want to do. Technically, you are right. You are free. But the choice you make will come at a price. Remember that. You will have to pay for it either in the dunya or the akhirah or both. So when you make a decision, you might be free to make that decision as a human being. You chose how you want to dress, how you want to talk, what you want to do, what you want to eat. You chose what you want to engage in you chose the prohibitions you want to do and the obligations you want to stay away from fair enough the choice was yours but you are answerable you are responsible you will pay for how you have chosen therefore choose wisely so one of the issues made mention of in this beautiful surah is a piece of advice that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to issue to his family members to the women, to his wives, his daughters, and the believing females. So it is not just a piece of advice, but in fact an instruction. So Allah says, Ya Nabiyu, O Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Qul, say, say to whom? Li azwajika wa banatika wa nisa il mu'mineen. Say to your wives, to your daughters. And to the believing women, that they should cover themselves with an outer garment. They should cover themselves with an outer garment. This is referring to when you're emerging from the home, you throw over yourself an outer garment. It's an instruction, verse number 59 of Surah 33, Surah Al Ahzab, where Allah is saying to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, tell your wives, tell your daughters, and tell the believing women that they have to throw on themselves this outer julbab. Julbab meaning you have your dress, you are wearing your clothing, as you emerge from the home or you are in the presence of those who are strange, etc. You throw over a cloak or you throw over an outer garment in order to conceal your beauty. Now this is the rule of Islam, subhanallah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, The reason behind this is so that you can save yourselves from harm, so that you can be recognized as Muslim women, as chaste women, as women who are not out there free for all, so to speak, and women who are serious about their modesty and chastity. Now, this is an Islamic ruling. Like I said before, we are governed by Islam. There may be people around us who are not governed by the same rules and regulations. Let them do as they wish. But we do as we are taught. Like I've said before, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen us. It's not so easy. It's not so easy at a time when Islamophobia is across the globe. At a time when people are looking at Muslims with the eye of suspicion. It's not so easy to dress as a Muslim woman. But for those who do, remember, they will save themselves from calamity, disaster in this world and the next. It might seem like it's tough and difficult, but wallahi, the more we are in number, the, the better the message we deliver to say we are peace loving, we are beautiful people, we will reach out, we will help, we will assist, we have good character, we have conduct, we are a nation that is filled with goodness and morality and conduct. We are not bad or evil. But when we hide our identity, who would then know that we are Muslim when we do a good deed? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us acceptance. So this is called the verse of hijab. And it is reported that the women from amongst the Ansar, subhanallah, when this verse came out, they used to cover themselves with a cloak or with an outer garment that would actually be non-attractive in its color in order for them to fulfill this particular verse. Now one might say, what exactly is the ruling. The ruling is 
quite broad, to be honest with you. It's quite broad. There is no specific color. There is no specific material, but it is something that would cover you. It is something that would ensure that you have come across very modestly, etc. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant our women and men the ability to cover themselves in a respectable way that would be, inshallah, pleasing to our own maker, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh.